Kurumjari. Once again, a very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today, of January 2016, once again, on behalf of Manipur Tourism and All Manipur Polo Association, we welcome all to the opening ceremony of the first Manipur Statehood Day Women's Polo Tournament with Team United States Polo Association Women at the historic Imphal Polo Ground, the oldest living polo ground in the world at the heart of Imphal City. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a matter of immense pleasure to have in our midst Sri O. Ibobi Singh, Honorable Chief Minister Manipur as our Honorable Chief Guest for today's opening ceremony. Sri Gaikhangam, Honorable Deputy Chief Minister Manipur as our special guest. Sri I. Hemochandra Singh, Honorable Minister, PhD and Labor as our special guest. Mr. Stephen Armour, National Board of Governors, United States Polo Association dignitaries, invitees, and all our spectators at today's opening ceremony of the first Manipur Statehood Day Women's Polo Tournament with Team United States Polo Association. Also, we are very glad to have in our midst Sri Chatolin Amo, Chairman of the Hill Area Committee at today's opening ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, Srimati Nidhi Mani Tripathi, IS Secretary, Tourism Government of Manipur, felicitating our Honorable Chief Guests, Special Guests, and Guest of Honor for today's opening ceremony. Srimati Nidhi Mani Tripathi, IS Secretary, Tourism Government of Manipur, and Sri Shamlal Punia, Director, Tourism Government of Manipur, felicitating our Honorable Chief Guest, Sri O. Ibobi Singh, Honorable Chief Minister of Manipur, and Sri Gaikhangam, Deputy Chief Minister Manipur, special guest for today's opening ceremony. May we request 
Srimati Nidhimani Tripathi, Secretary, Tourism Government of Manipur, to give the welcome address. Madam, please. Honorable Chief Minister of Manipur, Honorable Deputy Chief Minister Manipur, Honorable Minister PHED, uh, Mr. Steve on Armour of USPA, Governor at Large, National Board of Governors of the United States Polo Association, other senior members of Legislative Assembly, office bearers of all Manipur Polo Association, senior government officials, members of the press and media, distinguished guests and ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Tourism Department of Manipur, it is my privilege to welcome the Honorable Chief Minister who is here with us as the Chief Guest in the inaugural ceremony of the first Manipur Statehood Day Women's Polo Tournament 2016. I also welcome our special guest, Deputy Chief Minister, who is here with us, and thank him for his kind presence. I also welcome Sri Hemuchandra Singh, the Minister, PhD, and Labor and Employment, who has joined us here in this tournament, in the inaugural ceremony of this tournament. Mr. Stephen Armour, Governor at Large, National Board of Governors of the United States Polo Association is also here as the guest of honor for today's function. I thank him for bringing USPA women polo team to Manipur and he has been helping us in Sangai Festival in organizing the Manipur polo tournaments but this time he's here to support us for the promotion of women's polo in Manipur and in India. I also welcome Mr. Edward Armstrong from USPA International Committee, who is also present on this historic occasion. It is a historic occasion because for the first time, a women's polo tournament has been organized in India with international participation. Manipur is proud to be part of it, and more so over when it is the only state in India which has got women polo teams. And it is going to be a game changer for Manipur tourism as it is going to place Manipur as a tourist destination in the global map where the modern game of polo was born. A value of nostalgia associated with the birthplace of polo will surely attract a lot of sports enthusiasts and tourists to the state, which is also blessed with natural beauty and exotic flora and fauna. We are in thankful to our Honorable Chief Minister for extending all his support and his guidance for organizing this tournament. I must place this on record that he's been very, very encouraging when we propose this tournament to our minister, uh, chief minister, who happens to be our minister of tourism also. I thank the Ministry of Tourism, Government of India, who has announced polo as a heritage sports of India and has an included promotion of polo as niche tourism pro product and providing with necessary assistance, financial assistance for organizing this event. I also thank Mani all Manipur Polo Association for organizing, uh, organizing this event. And uh, I would also thank Huntre Adventures for helping us in organizing and managing this event. I would not forget to welcome the four girls who have come from USPA, uh, polo players from USA. U I extend my heartiest welcome to all of them. In fact, they have created a lot of lot of enthusiasm and motivation for our own players, women players who have been riders and who run Women Polo Club. So this is the occasion to celebrate polo, to celebrate women of Manipur. So with these words, I once again welcome everyone who is present here and thank everyone for helping us 
in organizing this event and I wish all the luck to all the four teams, Team Sangai, Team Shiroi, Team Kangla and Team USP. Thank you so much. Thank you, Madam, for the welcome address. Now, we have the felicitation of players of United States Polo, Polo Association. We request our Honorable Chief Guest, Sri O. Ibobi Singh, Honorable Chief Minister, Manipur, to do the honor. I call on stage Kali Pers Carly Persano, player of United States Polo Association, to kindly come on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, the four players of the United States Polo Association, Kali Persano, Christina Fernandez, Julia Smith, Tiamo Hatspeed being felicitated with the traditional Manipuri headgear of Manipuri women, Kajeng Lai. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for our four players from Team United States Polo Association. We thank our Honorable Chief Guest, Sri O. Ibobi Singh, Honorable Chief Minister, for doing the honor of felicitating our players, Kali Persano, Christina Fernandez, Julia Smith, Tiamo Hatspet of United States Polo Association.
Now, we have the flag hoisting ceremony. We request our Honorable Chief Guest, Sri O. Ibobi Singh, Honorable Chief Minister of Manipur, to do the honor of hoisting the flag of All Manipur Polo Association. Also, I request Dr. K. Sarat, President Ampa, to escort our Honorable Chief Guest. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for the flag hoisting ceremony. I request our Honorable Chief Guest, Sri O. Ibobi Singh, Honorable Chief Minister of Manipur, to declare the tournament to be open. Sir, please. I declare the first Manipur Women Polo Tournament 2016 open. Thank you, sir, for declaring the first Manipur State Hood Day Women's Polo Tournament with Team United States Polo Association Women. Ladies and gentlemen, now we have the march past of the women players. We would like to acknowledge that the women players will march on the tunes played by the combined band of 45 and 40th Assam Rifles and the band major is Havaldar YB Chetri. We request our Honorable Chief Guest, Sri O. Ibobi Singh, Honorable Chief Minister of Manipur, to kindly take the salute of the march past. Ladies and gentlemen, the first team who will be marching is Team United States Polo Association, led by Team Captain Tiamo Hatspet, and the team members are S. Sumita Devi, L. Thadoi Devi, N. Ashakiran Devi, S. Sangeeta Devi. Team United States Polo Association. Passing the dice, we request our honorable chief guest to kindly take the salute. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for Team United States Polo Association. The next team marching towards the dice is Team Siroy led by team captain Julia Smith and the other members of the team are A. Romabati Devi, K. H. Habe Devi, S. Langland Devi, K. H. Deventi Devi. The next team marching towards the dice is Team Sangai, led by team captain Kali Persano. And the team members are TH Tanna Devi, RK Nilu Devi, RK Dhaneshwari Devi, TH Jessica Devi. And the other team, O Asha Lucky Chanu. T.H. Jatolia Devi, Team Captain Christina, 
of United States Polo Association as Sangeeta Devi, T.H. Sanajawi Devi of Team Kangla. We thank 45 and 40th Assam Rifles Band for playing the tune for the March Past. Ladies and gentlemen, Team Sangai, Team Siroi, Team Kangla, Team United States Polo Association with their beautiful March Pass. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to acknowledge that these are the four teams who will be playing in the first Manipur Statehood Day Women's Polo Tournament which begins today, the 17th of January, 2016. And it will conclude with the final match on 21st of January, 2016. That is the Statehood Day of Manipur. We thank all the four teams for the beautiful March past. We request Mr. Stephen Armour, National Board of Governors, United States Polo Association, guest of honor for today's opening ceremony to deliver a speech. Sir, please. I would like to thank on the behalf of the United States Polo Association and the Team USPA, thank the Manipuri government, the Ministry of Tourism, and all those who have had a hand in making this event happen. This is a wonderful event for women's polo internationally, but especially bringing a greater bond between the United States Polo Association and Manipur. You have hosted us for our men's team, and now we are honored that you have invited our women's team to come. And hopefully this will happen for many years to come, and the bond between Manipur and the USPA will just grow stronger all the time. Thank you again, and enjoy the match. Thank you, sir, for addressing the gathering. We cordially request our Honorable Chief Guest, Sri Okram Ibobi Singh, Honorable Chief Minister of Manipur, to address the gathering. Sir, please. Sri Gaikhanam, Honorable Deputy Chief Minister, Government of Manipur, Sri M. Sorry, Mr. Steph Armour of United States Polo Association, Office Bearers of All Manipur Polo Association, Honorable Minister Sri I. Hemoshandra, Senior Government Officers, Members of the Press and the Media, Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to address on the inaugural ceremony of the first Manipur Statehood Day Women's Polo Tournament 2016 in the historic Mapan Kangjaibung, the world 
old age living polo ground. We are honored with the presence of team United States Polo Association women who have come all the way from U.S. to join us in our endeavor to promote women's polo. I am proud to put it on record that Manipur is only the state in India that has women's polo teams and events like this will help towards promotion of tourism in the state. Manipur was granted statehood on 21st January 1972 and tournament will be the befitting way to mark the occasion. Manipur is known as the sports powerhouse of India and this tournament will further help us strengthen our position in the field. We have the world, the game of modern